left the police rap group Dead Press. Um, I'm happy and proud to be here today, not only because I think this discussion is important, but from the place that it comes from, talking about this particular issue is uh, particularly paramount, I think, to, to the world. Um, Huey P. Newton and Bobby Seale helped the world to understand uh, the definition of power, uh, which was laid out by the Black Panther Party, uh, which they would say power is the ability to define phenomenon and make it act in a desired manner. Power being the ability to define a phenomenon and make it act in a desired manner. I think it's a fantastic definition for the word power. And if you look at the phenomenon today, hip hop is socially phenomenal, uh, as well as many other uh, tools, social tools that, that are here. Uh, I think there are many ways to change the world. 1,000 ways we can think of that we can change the world. And uh, as an artist, uh, we began to use hip hop, or Dead Press began to use hip hop as the canvas by which we painted the picture about how we can use social activism. Like I said, you can be a teacher and change the world, you can be a soldier and change the world, but at that point we saw hip hop as one of the most uh, galvanizing uh, forces or, or voices for our people worldwide. Um, it's funny being on the stage because uh, Dead Press, our crew, and our personal lives are, are formed out of, out of a movement, I, and our movement com comes from the South, uh, particularly a movement called the Uhuru Movement, which means freedom in Swahili. And so we would organize uh, from city to city and town to town around political prisoner issues, uh, police terror issues, uh, economic social justice issues uh, around the United States. And uh, it was when we began to use hip hop, the voice of hip hop that we began to be able to cut through uh, where a lot of people weren't able to understand because we were coming home from our jobs or, or on the way to our jobs or had to take care of our children or had situations like hip hop what began to be the frequency by which we connected. And inside our crew, uh, we had uh, members of our family from Alabama and, and that were from Georgia that were connected to Africa. Uh, uh, um, you know, uh, more specifically in Gambia. Uh, so uh, some of our crew was, was, was telling us how important it is to make these connections, not only from, from where we were organizing in Georgia, Florida, and Alabama, but also what's happening in Gambia and Senegal and, and, and uh, Burkina Faso and, and Cote d'Ivoire. And so uh, this, this was the beginning of uh, like an international perspective about how Dead Press can be, because we were in Tallahassee, Florida, and we were thinking about how to affect New York, but we necessarily didn't think about how we could affect home. Um, so um, a, a young lady named Oli Mata, who's a, who's a member of our crew, uh, helped us to, to be able to, to, uh, to, to be in, in, in Gambia with our music, even though our bodies were not. Um, and, we, and we even developed uh, friendships with uh, the Senegalese community. Um, long story short, I want to say that um, the, the, the work of the hip hop artists today is, is international and global work. It's, it's not local work. Um, if we don't if we don't see it that way, then you don't see the scope. That 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 goes for any and everybody. Uh, I don't care if it's Trinidad James or or, or, or Jay Z. Um, uh, the work of of the of the, the hip hop community is to, is to be the voice that speaks to the world of, uh, around the world and and the voice of that change. So uh, that has been the the duty of, of, of Dead Press. Um, fortunately, a few years ago, I was able to. Uh, to, to uh, meet uh, in Europe and in, in places like Germany and, and, and even in, in, in Senegal, in Dakar, uh, you know, uh, Senegalese artists who, who have been uh, around changing my life. Artists like uh, like Dara Jean, artists like uh, Didi Awadi, uh, artists like Human and, and um, some of my friends who live in Paris, uh, like uh, uh, Mbega Ndoy and, and some other artists who, who, who have been doing work. I mean, that totally given me another perspective about what our work is and how we can uh, support political movements on the ground uh, by uh, the, the colonized masses wherever we are. To, so we can see ourselves as one people without a border. Uh, you know, um, because not only is it okay for us to say I'm an African uh, when we're in Brooklyn, but we have to be able to recognize ourselves as Africans everywhere we are, without borders, uh, without the colonial, these colonial borders inside our minds. And so uh, I think, with, with all being said, this guides the work that I do, uh, whether I find myself in Palestine or, or in, in Venezuela or, 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 or again in Dakar or, or in Nairobi, um, it's with the same mission and the same mindset to, to develop this voice that can speak in one language around the world. Um, regardless of whether I know uh, Wolof or, or, or whether I know Kosa or can speak Spanish, um, the voice of hip hop has been able to serve any kind of 
barricades and bond with, and bond that has been around the world. So um, I just want to say that's the that's the, the most important part of the tool with what's doing whatever we do. So thank you for allowing me to be here and use that voice today.